Now to a man who always cooks his bacon absolutely perfectly. <laughs> Mark Southern, what are you making this morning? <laughs> well, I've got a one pot wonder and it's basically a chicken casserole. But if you want to portion the whole dish up, you call it coco van. So it's chicken, lots of red wine in there. We've got some bacon, garlic shallots, mushrooms. It's absolutely wonderful. It's going to be great. I'm going to show you how to make it a little bit later on this show. Back to you guys. Welcome back to the cafe kitchen and I'm excited I see some meat. Yes, yeah. we've got chicken. We're going to make a fantastic, easy, simple casserole. In one pot? In one pot. I Technically. Got, uh, yeah, I've got another pot there. But okay, we, cool. But you don't have to use that, but it's just to speed things up. But nice. basically, everything's done in one pot. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start that now. So we've got our chicken. Yes, so what are we doing with seasoning? Yeah, so just lightly seasoning. A little mm -hmm. bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Yep, and cool. uh, we've got different parts of the chicken as well, right? So you can put a bit of olive oil in there. Yep. And we'll start getting a nice colour on that. So we've got the leg, we've got the thigh, we've got the breast. Yeah. Just slice it into nice big chunks on the breast. Yep. Um, you can do it without the bone or you can do it with the bone, skin on, skin off, whatever your uh, preference is. If you use the skin on, just get a nice colour on it so it's nice and crispy and okay, develop cool. all those flavours. So I'll leave you with that. Cool. Thank you. Right, and then we've got a few uh, vegetables and flavourings to put in here. So I've got some shallots. So I've just peeled these, just leaving the root on just slightly and then we'll just cut them in half so you leave, you're left with nice big chunks. Okay, so they're ready to go, and we're going to colour them as well. So once the chicken's coloured, we can take it out, make some room for the shallots. We can start colouring that. We've got some garlic and some of these beautiful herbs as well. So they're oh. going to cook through it. Rosemary, thyme, and a bit of uh, bay leaf as well. Look at that. Okay, so we're not technically cooking all the chicken here. We're just putting some colour on it. Yeah, yeah, no, we're not, yeah, we're just putting the colour on. And so the colour add to it. Yeah, cool. colour is flavour. Colour is flavour, folks. Remember that. Okay. <laughs> I haven't forgotten everything you taught me last year. Oh, good. I have been to sleep your hat. I'll tell you what I did, though. <laughs> tell you what I did. I got rid of my microwave over summer. Did you? Yeah. Well, I'm cob and fresh. Can... Cob and fresh this year. Apparently, you can cook great bacon in the microwave. No, no. I just learned that. So, never mind. Right, and right. then, yeah, speaking of bacon, we've got some nice bacon in there. You know, lightly smoked as well, gives it flavour, and a little bit of that fat as well just makes a great flavour into the casserole. So, I'm going to dice that up as well. Yep. And we'll, and we'll just get a bit of colour in that a little bit later. And then. Obviously, this is a French take on a French stew, so coco van. So, yep. what do you think the other main ingredient is apart from chicken? <laughs> or the van? The I don't van know if part. I should say out loud what's running through my mind. <laughs> um, uh, wine? Yes. Yeah. So we got wine. So we got red wine. So you can see there's a good hefty amount of red wine in there. But that's going to go in. We're going to burn the alcohol off. We've got stock in there and a little bit of tomato paste. And that's just going to give us a wonderful flavour and base for our stew. So that's, that's looking good. So turn this one over now. Uh, have a look at it. You yeah. want to make sure you get a really good crispy skin. So maybe leave that there. A bit more. Yeah, the chicken without the skin on, if you've got a light bit of colour in, you can take that out now. You don't okay. want to dry it out too much. Yep. But just if the skin on it, get it nice and crispy. Now, is that, is that what you mean when you say a light bit of colouring? Does it need a bit more? Yeah. No, 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 we're just getting some colour. Oh, the yeah, actual, cool. all the liquid is going to slowly cook and cook the chicken. In the so one pot. Okay, in the cool. one pot. Okay, so I can take this out now. Shall yep. I just put it in this pan over here? Yeah. Is that all right? Oh, uh, yeah, you can yeah. put it on there, yeah, for yeah, now. Cool. Yeah, I think. For now, he says. <laughs> I'm going to get my drumstick looking good, so I'm just going to mix that up. Yeah, so keep turning that, get a nice even colour all the way around. We've got the shallots in there, we're going to start getting some colour on the shallots. Once we've made a bit of room, we'll pop the bacon in as well. Nice bit of colour on the bacon, and I'm going to slice some garlic as well, which is going to go in a little bit later. Oh, nice. And the good thing about this is when you're using just one technical pot, there's less dishes, which I like. <laughs> Chuck everything <laughs> in it, slowly cook it, away you go. I mean, that is the bonus, but you cook in and all the flavour from the chicken and all the colouring is staying in the casserole. Nice. You know, so it is maximising the flavour. Nice work. Okay, I'm just going to give this one a bit more to my drumstick here. By the way, all our recipes are online, thecafe.co.nz. So if you don't have time to write things down now and you can't keep up, don't worry. Go back there a little later on, print it out, because that will be very, very handy. Right, and then the button mushrooms. So when selecting button mushrooms, get really nice, um, firm white ones. Cut them in half. You can see they're really nice and white and firm. Um, we're going to, you can either, if you want to stay to a true one pot wonder, you can just pop them in about five minutes before you serve so they just soften, warm and soften, or you can seal them off, get a little bit of colour on them and just throw them in just before you serve, so it's up to you. Nice work. Okay, we'll come back in a few minutes.
Okay, we're back in the cafe kitchen where it's our one pot casserole. We've got the chicken that's been browned on the side, and right now we've got smoked bacon and shallots. Mm. Beautiful. That right? Yeah, that's it. We've got a nice colour on there, and you can see all these little bits in the pan. Mm. You know, that's all the sediment, that's flavour. Flavour, right. I know. So <laughs> now tempting. we're going to build the, uh, the actual stew. So I've got a little bit of tomato paste, put a couple of spoons in there, just stir that around, and it's a good idea. Just give that a minute or two in the pan and it just sort of gives you that sort of roasted, deeper flavour. Mm, I can smell it straight away. It's so good. All right, and now for the interesting bit, the alcohol. So obviously be careful at this point now because we are on an open flame. And we're going to put some brandy in there, so that's going to deglaze. Mm -hmm. A bit of brandy and then we'll pop the uh, red wine in as well. So that all goes in there. OK, nice. Right. Key thing now, bring it up to the boil before you start adding any other ingredients. I've got a question for you about the red wine. Yep. Like, over Christmas, you know, you put some bottles away. Um, how long can, you, can it stay in the cupboard for uh, until it's, you know, not good enough for cooking? Because <laughs> no, sometimes what happens is I pull them out and I'm like, oh, that's been there for well, like four months, maybe. Should I make a stew with it? Is it still all right to do? Oh, I, think, <laughs> I think you can always put wine in a stew. Can't okay, you? If cool. you're going to cook with it, it's, it's, I won't drink it after a few days. Because I don't want it to put, you know, I don't want to put bad wine in, in the food. So is, does red wine last a long time in the cupboard? You don't know, do you? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm putting you on I, the spot. If it's there, I'd put it in. So I'll Google it in the yeah, commercial yeah, break, no, don't no, worry, Mark. No, <laughs> Sorry. Well, someone always said, you know, if you're cooking with wine, always use a better quality wine. Oh, OK, cool. Which is great, and it does make sense. It just makes it really expensive. OK, nice. <laughs> well, worth right. it for the flavour. So, wine's come up to the boil. Just got some garlic, just sliced. I'm going to drop that in. We'll drop all our herbs in. So, thyme, rosemary, bay leaves, and then I've got some chicken stock as well. So, I'm going to pop that in. Right, and that's going to be the base of our stew. Mmm, that smells okay, good. Okay, so we'll bring it up to the boil. You can start putting the chicken in now. Yep. Bring it up to the boil, turn it down, and we're just going to slowly cook this. You can do it on the stove, just gently, so it just sort of um, bubbles away, and it'll start reducing and concentrating the stock. And then, once the chicken's cooked, after about half an hour or so, 40 minutes, take the chicken out, take all the shallots out, Sort the mushrooms so they're warm, that can go out, and I've got a little tip for you a bit later on how to thicken the sauce so you don't have to reduce it right down and, and you don't get like, um, you know, you lose it. Well, this looks incredible. It's smelling fantastic. I can't wait, A, to get your tip, and B, to taste this towards the end of the show. So we'll come back and see the final dish soon. I'll tell you someone we can never replace because this food is so incredible. Mark, <laughs> um, that is smelling divine. I saw your help, Mike. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> First week compliments, eh? It'll change in next week, don't you worry. Yeah. Right, so it's been cooking about sort of 30, 40 minutes. You can see all the chicken's cooked. Uh, we just popped the uh, mushrooms in last minute. I plated it up here. Here's your sauce. It's quite thin, so if you want to thicken it, we make a little paste with some flour and a little bit of soft butter. Get it nice and smooth. And you can just drop a little bit of this in, just over the heat. Not too much, because it does thicken, and the flour will thicken it and then the butter will melt, make it nice and rich. So just get that in there. And then as it comes to heat, it'll all dissolve. Because you've mixed it into a paste, you won't get these floury lumps. It'll dissolve and it will just thicken slightly. So you can add a little bit more if you want to thicken it, or not at all. You know, if you're gluten-free, you don't need to do it. But you just give it a little bit of a thickness, coats the back of a spoon, get that up, and then just pour it over. And there is your coco van. Yum. That is a divine looking dish. Mm. And I've got a tip for you too, actually, about the wine. Oh, the yeah. red wine. It's kind of hard to work out how long it stays good in the uh, cupboard for for cooking, but most people say to freeze it in little bags uh, so you can use it when you want. There you oh, go. Genius. Okay, well, thank you, right. Mark. This looks <laughs> delicious. What's on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got a squid salad. Oh, yum. I love squid.